the little hare has a few tricks too. And it'll try every one. Until it's overwhelmed. But this hare isn't just a meal. It's a lesson in hunting. Rather than kill her prey outright, the mother brings it back for her cubs. The firstborn is eager to practice, unlike her timid sister. She's not simply playing with her food. She's learning about the fine line between life and death. It's knowledge her sister won't get watching from the sidelines. Too nervous to enter into the fray, she hangs back while her sister attacks. If character is destiny, an intrepid spirit may make all the difference in the African night. The precocious cub is rewarded with a meal. Full moon on the African plain. The cycle turns from death to fragile new life. The crippled lioness has given birth. But weak and wounded, she can never take care of this cub. And at the first sound of danger, she limps away. The baby's cries will attract the hyena pack. With the terrible logic of survival, she's forced to leave her youngster to protect herself. Still, she can't shake off the hyenas. Too weary to go on, she braces herself for the coming battle. Growl is stronger than she is. It's just enough to keep the mob at bay. There's easier prey around. The plaintive cries of the abandoned lion cub echo through the night. They attract a deadly visitor. Normally, the mother leopard would kill this cub without thinking twice. But she hesitates. Perhaps it has aroused her maternal feelings. And now, with her old antagonist closing in, she's got a dilemma. Should she take it? Should she stay? There is no choice. She could never raise this baby.
With her goes the little one's last chance. Unaware of her baby's fate, the lioness is calling for her pride. But they are nowhere to be found. Her roars are heard, not by the pride, but by rogue male lions, a pair of powerful nomads. They come at a run, their intentions, like their movements, a blur. This behavior is highly unusual, but no less savage. Their killer instinct is so strong, the urge to attack an injured animal so powerful that they seemingly cannot stop. In the dark hours, the young are more vulnerable than ever. Left behind while their mother hunts, their instinct is to explore. Yet each time they do, they face greater risks. This is when death stalks the savanna. Thieves are never far off. <laughs> Unlike the mother, the male leopard will stand his ground, especially with this young hyena. And when the scavenger retreats, the male savors his feast. mother has a much bigger worry. Her cubs, they're not where she left them. As her anxiety deepens, her mate, high above the ground, senses a new threat. So do the persistent hyenas below. One's got his foot caught. Looking for a meal. He may soon turn into a meal himself. It's now or never. The male leopard, too, must avoid being trapped by the lions. Mounting the tree with surprising ease, a lioness claims the abandoned carcass. <laughs> Enticed, 
An adolescent male tries to follow, but he's not much of a climber. He's bitten off more than he can chew, and right now he's not chewing much of anything. <laughs> 